Hello guys, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. For those of you that are new here with me today, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like a private reading, please click that link in the description box. So today, I wanted to get into the next 90 days, um, some predictions for the next 90 days. I know 2020 has not started off exactly great. And I just wanna say this, 2020 is a magical year with beautiful vibrations that can uplift everyone to a certain level to where they can manifest and create whatever they want in life, okay? So a lot of the catastrophes going on right now, a lot of it is to keep our vibrations low so that we don't manifest and go into our full abilities and be happy and be able to do whatever we want in life. So just remember that 2020 is still very much a magical year and I believe they're doing everything in their powers to keep our vibrations low um, on the earth, on the planet. So just remember that. Don't get pulled in and sucked into everything that you see on the media, okay? Of course, look at it, resonate with it, and keep moving on with your life and keep your vibrations high, okay? So we're looking into the next 90 days. We have choices one, two, and three. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. If not, I am going to start with deck one for the next 90 day predictions, okay? Let's see what we got, deck one, okay? So remember, this is a general reading. I'm going to be tapping on a few things here. And uh, let's see, for the first card I got for you, deck one, I got the six of cups, which is an indication that in the next 90 days, you might be visited by someone from your past, um, someone from childhood. Um, a lot of this could mean you've been thinking about your childhood a lot, nostalgic type memories, but the Six of Cups is indicating that some of you will receive a visit or a phone call from someone um, from your childhood. And this is a good memory. These, these are not bad ones. The Six of Cups is all about good memories and the things that you guys shared in the past. So look out for that. That's interesting. The next card that I got for you is the Six of Swords. So it looks like some of you who picked deck one has brought some baggage in to 2020 and for the next 90 days you are going to be working on getting that baggage out that is what i'm seeing for the six of swords you are definitely moving on you probably said this before 2020 it was probably a 2020 goal for you to leave some stuff behind and you kind of brought it into 2020 and the six of swords is showing me that within the next 90 days you will get rid of either these people, these bad habits, whatever it is you promised to leave behind in 2020 that you just kind of snuck in, um, that is going to be dropped in the next 90 days. I see that. Like I said, it could be bad habits. It could be people. It could be you're moving on from a toxic relationship. The next 90 days, this will happen. I see you creating um, a lot in the next 90 days. This could have a lot to do with creativity. This could have to do with your job. Um, I see you creating a lot in the next 90 days. And these creations can also bring in some money for you. That's the sun card. Um, so I see for the next 90 days, you're going to be very creative. You're gonna tap into some of that creative energy. This could also be at work, creating something at work, freelancing, doing something independent. And I feel like this could bring in some money for you. And also for people that have a creative demon, I call it a creative demon, 
being creative is a part of you and you need that. And for the next 90 days, I see the sun coming out and you creating things just to keep your mind and your soul happy because some of us need that. Also for the next 90 days, I see you tapping back into your spirituality. A lot of people, um, they make these New Year's resolutions to meditate and get into our spiritual side and it doesn't happen. So for the next 90 days, I see you tapping into that more fiercely, okay? You're gonna get back into your spirituality. You're gonna meditate. You're gonna burn sage. All the things you do that keep you grounded, okay? That you have not been doing since the new year. I see you doing that, okay? I also see deck one. This is the three of pentacles here that in the next 90 days, there will be a collaboration for you. Um, some of you are going to pair up with others and this is going to create money for you. I see you either getting a side hustle with a group of people or just going in with a group discussing money, business plans, money moves. I see that happening for you in the next 90 days and I see it being successful because the three of pentacles is all about having success with this this threesome that you're going to have sorry having a drink not a threesome like that but if this was a different kind of read the three of pentacles would mean that but this could be a group endeavor this could be a small group a big group but i see you coming together with people to creating some type of income, some type of surplus. It could be a side hustle. It could be something creative or independent. But I see you coming together with people in the next 90 days to create money. And I see it being successful. Now, some of you are going to be going, not all of you, because remember, this is a general read. But some of you are going to be uh, going through a breakup in the next 90 days. And I just wanna say this, this relationship was not serving you and your higher good. And I feel that, and that's what spirit is tapping in on. So spirit is saying not to be sad about this, that this relationship was not fulfilling your higher good anyway. and you are creating and making room for your soulmate. Um, someone is actually out there for you and meant for you. Um, so some of you will be going through a breakup, but just know that this is creating space for someone who really cares about you, someone who is going to mutually love you and care about you the way that you're supposed to be cared about okay I also got the moon card here now the moon card indicates a lot about the subconscious mind it also indicates um, secrets and just things going on subconsciously with your mind now with the Sun card I see that secrets are going to be revealed in the next 90 days things going on in your subconscious mind um, that are stuck are going to be pulled out. And this is a good thing because this is going to create space for more positive things in your life. So don't be afraid of these secrets that are going to manifest in the next 90 days. They are going to be for the better, okay? Thank you, deck one. That's your next 90 days. Keep your eyes open for that money collaborations. Keep your eyes open for people coming back from the past, good people. You're gonna get into that meditation and your spirituality like you promised yourself for 2020. Get ready to create, get ready to make money. Thank you, deck three, I mean, deck one. <laughs> deck two. Let's see deck two. 
I'm apologizing for my voice in advance because I am a little hoarse, okay? So deck two, I see coming in 2020. Some of you have been a little disappointed. I got the eight of cups here. And some of you have been a little disappointed with life. 2020 has not started off this big bang like you wanted it to. And I'm feeling that disappointment here with some of you. And I just want you to know that I got the three of cups here indicating celebration. Um, if you don't feel like 2020 started off with a bang, you're actually kind of disappointed. You actually got the three of cups here indicating celebration, happy times, the next 90 days, you will receive some happiness. You will receive some things to actually celebrate in life, which is going to turn this disappointment you started the year off with into something grand and celebratory and just being happy. There is gonna be celebrations coming to you in the next 90 days. In the next 90 days, you are going to rest and meditate because your body needs it, okay? A lot of you need to meditate. A lot of you need to tap within, go within because you are going through a transition. This is the death card here. A lot of you are going through a spiritual transition, a physical transition with your life. A lot of you are transferring and transforming lives okay death to your old life this new life is coming in the next 90 days and transformations are always happy times okay think of yourself as a cocoon in your butterfly wings being able to spread and you being able to fly death can also be a beautiful thing i'm also seeing deck two the justice card, a lot of you are gonna receive justice. A lot of you have felt like, you know, maybe 2019 has, you know, wronged you. Maybe the beginning of 2019 has wronged you. And 2020, like I said, was a disappointment for some of you so far in the beginning. In the next 90 days, you are going to receive some justice in your life. And that is always a positive thing because you deserve it, especially if you've been going through turmoil and you're just like, why is this happening to me? What is going on? You are going to receive some justice. The 10 of Wands shows me that since 2020 has begun, you have been carrying a burden. And that burden is going to be lifted in the next 90 days. You've been carrying a burden. You've had this extra responsibility. And Spirit is saying that will be relieved in the next 90 days. Okay? Also for this group, I don't know what you did, but guess what? The Nine of Cups is indicating a wish come true. And that is an awesome thing to have in your cards. Whatever you wished for, whatever you've been trying to manifest in the next 90 days, I see that happening for you, okay? Ace of Pentacles, look out for money opportunities in the next 90 days. These are going to be new opportunities and they're going to be good opportunities. And these opportunities will manifest money for you. So please, please, please look out for those opportunities in the next 90 days. This is going to create money for you, okay? For the next 90 days, Spirit is saying, please save money, put money away, stack money, put, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, put some money away for your security secure your finances. The next 90 days is very imperative for that. You're gonna be bringing in some new money, an increase in income in the next 90 days. And Spirit is saying, when that money is coming in, please secure it. Put some in the bank, stack some away, invest some money. 
this is definitely what spirit wants for you okay next 90 days invest money for some of you the next 90 days you will be introduced to your new lover your new date um if you're already married i see your love life kicking into high gear especially if it was dull you will rekindle the flame with your husband or your wife or your partner and things are going to go back to how they were in the beginning for those of you who are single the next 90 days will manifest a lover for you um i see you dating a new person someone who is good for you mutual love mutual understanding respectful relationships okay Thank you, Deck 2. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Deck 3. Let's see Deck 3. I apologize for the hoarse voice in advance, okay? Got a lot of interesting cards here, Deck 3. The first card I got for you, Deck 3, is the Hangman. Pretty much indicating to me... Um, a lot of you feel like your life has been put on hold, especially since 2020 is kicked in. A lot of you feel stagnant. There's stagnant energy. Um, you're not really going anywhere fast. You feel like you've been put on pause, okay? And I got the nine of wands here indicating that you've been very courageous and resilient but good things are coming. The next 90 days, you will feel freed up from this pause. You know, the 2020 for some of you have not started off really, really good. And I see this pause coming to an end in the next 90 days. And it's because you've been courageous and resilient and you have had faith. And in the next 90 days, you will see a turnabout, okay? A lot of you have brought your worries, fears, and doubts into 2020, Deck 3. What's that all about? <laughs> it's very easy to do that when we have not dealt with um, our past and we have not dealt with our fears. So we just kind of carry them into our new year, which can cause a lot of pause, a lot of things not moving forward or just really moving at all. Um, just know for the next 90 days that these worries, fears, and doubts will be lifted, okay? Spirit is saying you need balance. A lot of you need balance. Um, a lot of you are working a lot and not playing enough. A lot of you are playing too much and not serious and working a lot. For the next 90 days, Spirit is saying create balance, okay? Okay? Create some balance, work, play, meditate, do nice things for yourself. Create this balance. You cannot be one-sided all the time. And I feel in the next 90 days, you will create some balance and you will start to come back to yourself and feel normal again, okay? Because I feel like a lot of you just have not been feeling normal lately. You're just like, what the hell? You know, what's going on? I don't feel like myself. I don't feel normal. Um, some of you have been feeling like out of, bo out of body, detached from your bodies. And spirit is saying balance. In the next 90 days, you will create this balance that will make you feel normal and that will attach you back to your body again, your soul back to your body. A lot of you will be traveling in the next 90 days. Congratulations on that. Travel is good. It changes up the energy um, pattern. I'm going to be traveling in the next 90 days too. So I see traveling 
in the next 90 days for a lot of you. Enjoy that rest, recoup, enjoy that new energy because it's coming. So the next 90 days, a lot of you will be going on a trip and it's gonna change up the energy in your life right now. So I feel like this is new for a lot of you and a lot of you are just travelers all the time. But some of you are going on new adventures and new places. Congratulations, you need that. It changes up the energy in your life, especially stagnant energy. There's the Wheel of Fortune card in the next 90 days. I feel like your money is going to be a lot better. I see success and wealth coming in in the next 90 days. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck money and good luck energy. Okay, I got the Hermit card indicating that for the next 90 days, a lot of you will go within. A lot of you won't feel like you want to be around people. You're going to go within. You're going to meditate. You're going to receive downloads. You're going to want to recoup. You're not, some of you are not going to feel like you want to be around people. And that's okay. Because for the next 90 days, you're going to be recouping. Some of you are going to be recouping on a trip in the next 90 days, which totally makes sense. I feel like a lot of you brought worries, fears, and doubts about your finances into 2020, okay? The Seven of Pentacles here is indicating to me that you've been working hard on something. A lot of you or some of you have been working hard on something. And that money, that wealth is ready to manifest. You just got to sit back and let it happen. There's no need to worry. You brought some of that worries and fears about finances and money into 2020. And Spirit is saying, look, some of you have worked very hard and you are going to reap your rewards in the next 90 days. A lot of you just got a lot of pure luck coming here for money, okay? Three, deck three, you got some goodness going on in the next 90 days for money. Don't spoil it with worries, fears, and doubts. You brought that in here with the five of pentacles. And some of you have been working very hard on something and that is about to manifest. You can sit back and just watch all of that happen. And with the wheel of fortune, you got luck energy flowing your way with money regardless, okay? I got the seven of cups here indicating in the next 90 days, a lot of you are going to be presented with opportunities, okay? So don't forget, this is the main thing with opportunities. Some of these cups have great opportunities and some of these cups have bad opportunities, i.e. the dark smoke <laughs> coming out of some of the cups. Just remember with the opportunities that everything that glitters is not gold. Choose wisely on that deck three. Next 90 days, look out for those opportunities. Thank you so much, Deck 3. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. If you would like a private reading, please click that link below. And thank you guys so much.